Hello everyone. In this video, let us take a look at a nice geometric question. So we have a triangle ABC where the length of BD is 4 cm, length of CD is 3 cm and it is given that the angle ABC that is this angle B is twice the angle CAD which means if I take this angle CAD as let us say alpha then angle ABC is twice of that alpha that is 2 alpha okay this is a detail given and we are supposed to find out the length of AB okay that is this side AB how can we proceed and you can see that we have drawn a perpendicular from point A to the opposite side BC okay so we have got two right angle triangles in the figure as well because this is also a 90 degree angle so we have got two right angle triangles before we proceed to the solution if you enjoy my content please do subscribe to my channel so that you can watch more such videos in the future as well and let us proceed to the solution so first i am going to start with this right angle triangle that is bda so in triangle bda i am going to apply the angle sum property so we know that in any triangle the sum of three angles is always equal to 180 degree so we have one of the angles as 2 alpha right so 2 alpha plus the second angle d is a 90 degree angle so this is a 90 degree angle so 2 alpha plus 90 degree plus the remaining angle bad so i want to find out the value of bad here so i will take it as it is equal to 180 degrees so what we do we will keep bad as it is we will take 2 alpha plus 90 to the other side so that we get angle BAD equal to 180 minus 90 minus 2 alpha. So from here we get angle BAD equal to 180 minus 90 is 90 minus 2 alpha which means the measure of this angle over here that is angle BAD is 90 minus 2 alpha. Now I'm going to take a look at the other triangle which is triangle CAD okay let's take triangle CAD applying angle sum property so we have got angle C unknown so let me keep it as it is so we have angle C plus the other angle is alpha and the third angle is 90 degree this is equal to 180 degree from angle sum property so again I want to find out angle C so let me take alpha and 90 to the other side so we have 180 minus 90 minus alpha so this gives us angle c as 180 minus 90 is 90 minus alpha which means this angle over here angle c is equal to 90 minus alpha why am i playing with angles over here i am supposed to find out the length of the side ab isn't it now from this angles itself we are going to interestingly get the side length of ab how is it so let us see here i want to figure out what is this total angle a i want to figure out the complete angle a for that i have to add alpha and 90 minus 2 alpha right that will give us the complete angle a so angle a will be equal to alpha plus 90 minus 2 alpha here alpha minus 2 alpha will be minus alpha so we have 90 as it is alpha minus 2 alpha will be minus alpha so that is the measure of angle a now you can see something happening in the figure you can see that this angle over here which is angle a is 90 minus alpha and angle c is also 90 minus alpha what does that mean it means that this triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle why because let me redraw the figure over here okay let us say so this angle is equal to this angle which means the opposite sides will also be equal which means this side will be equal to this side so this will become an isosceles triangle since angle A is equal to angle C in the figure we can say that this is isosceles triangle we can say that the length AB is equal to the length BC and from the figure easily we can see that BC is nothing but BD plus DC which is nothing but 4 plus 3 so the length of AB is nothing but 4 plus 3 which is equal to 7 centimeter so we were able to figure out the length of the side by using the properties of angles right so this is how we can relate angles and sides in a triangle and I hope all of you enjoyed the solution 
for more such interesting videos kindly subscribe to my channel and i will see you all in the next video